Students have been packing up their bags for the semester and heading home, except for a few international students who will still be calling Slippery Rock their home for a while. Senior spring athletes are learning to cope with the idea of already having played their final game before the season even started. I'm Joshua Peters. And I'm Samantha Amato, and you're listening to The Rock Talk, news brought to you by the SRU Rock Media. Stay up to date with WSRU TV and The Rocket as we journey through the quarantine together. International students still have a home at SRU if they choose to stay here during the COVID-19 outbreak. The students are being given the choice to stay on campus or return to their home countries because of the concerns associated with COVID-19. Most international students had to make that decision before President Barry announced that all classes would move online for the rest of the semester. Alexandri Ukama, an international student from Brazil, said that his plan was to return home and finish classes online, but that many airline companies are not operating to and from his country. Many other international students face the same issues, and some students, such as Rina Sato, an international student from Japan, are choosing to stay in SRU until they know for sure there will be a graduation ceremony. Haley Potter spoke to international student Mosin Kanani last week as he was traveling back home to Israel. He told her that he would remain in quarantine for 14 days once he got back, and he encouraged all SRU students, both domestic and international, to stay safe during these troubling times. During these troubling times, I am sure many students are dealing with a lot of changes and mixed emotions with all that is happening. And I am sure that a lot of students are wondering what services will be available to students. Slippery Rock will not be leaving the students to handle things on their own. The Student Counseling Center and Office for Support are still operating through COVID-19 in an online setting or over the phone. Dr. Kenneth Messina, the Director of Counseling Center, said that the best way to set up a consultation is to email the Counseling Center at scc at sru.edu. That's scc at sru.edu. And then the counseling will resume over the phone. Messina said they will be using an app such as Zoom to do face-to-face meetings but does show some concern in the app crashing or students not being able to access the internet. Student support, on the other hand, will be utilizing Zoom to talk to any student needing support. According to Carla Fawner, the director of student support, said that the easiest way to seek support is through a care report, which can be filed online by following the link on the university webpage. Another way to easily contact her is by email, carla.fawner at sru.edu. That's K-A-R-L-A dot F-O-N-N-E-R at S-R-U dot E-D-U. Carla dot Fawner at S-R-U dot E-D-U. Both Fawner and Dr. Messina encourage students in need to help reach out. Um, all the services are confidential, so whether it's setting up a phone call with us or finding somebody through Psychology Today or even just jumping into one of the live chats to talk and get some support, do do something to manage that. Um, the TAL program is really good for walking students who might be kind of hesitant about who's going to overhear me to walk them through some coping strategies and skills to manage you know, some of those anxieties and fears. Um, it's online. They can do it through their phone as well. So you know, if they're worried about somebody seeing, it's very easy to just bring up on their phone and download the app and work through those. Masima also suggests students looking for a counselor in their area to go to the therapist finder tool on the Psychology Today website. The Counseling Center will be sending out a weekly newsletter and posting to their Twitter at SRU Counseling with more updates to their plans as they come out. The NCAA and PSAC in conjunction have officially canceled all athletics for the remainder of the spring 2020 semester. SRU Director of Athletics Paul Lucan said to Rock Athletics that they support the PSAC Board of Directors' decision as they understand it was made to protect the health and safety of our student athletes, coaches, and campus communities. They are heartbroken for the spring student athletes, especially the seniors, that saw their seasons and in some cases careers end very abruptly and completely out of their control. They will be doing everything they can to provide support for the student athletes during this difficult time. As a freshman, I can't even imagine having my senior year cut short, let alone my last semester of playing a sport. As of right now, there is a mix of student athletes who will be able to return to Slippery Rock for an additional season of eligibility. SRU's lacrosse coach, Kelsey Van Allistein, 
said none of her athletes would be returning, while the majority of coaches are still unsure of their athletes' decision. SRU tennis star senior Lacey Cohen will be returning to Slippery Rock next year as a graduate student for occupational therapy and plans on returning to the team either as a assistant or an athlete. However, senior Viola Lugmeyer is still uncertain to her return due to her continuing her education in Arizona, working with wheelchair tennis athletes in adapted physical education. The college doors may be closed, but nonprofits and small businesses such as Simplified Meals by Ginger and Our Angels Addict are staying open to help benefit the community. Simplified Meals by Ginger will be changing their hours of operation to 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. and will still be acting as a drop-off for the Feed My Sheep food pantry. When the community heard that Our Angels Addict, a nonprofit clothing boutique, was struggling, they took to donations, creating a GoFundMe page. The nonprofit even heard from an entrepreneurial businesswoman who was holding a 12-day fundraiser to help keep the boutique open. Our Angels Attic is important to the community by bringing together students, faculty, and volunteers to work with those who have disabilities and the general community. Not too sure on what to do while social distancing at home? Ashley Kaiser provided some great ideas while you're at home. Try at home exercise with your favorite fitness video, pick up a book you've been waiting to read, or find some new recipes to try. What are you doing while in quarantine? We'd love to hear from you. And that is all from us on this Friday, March 27th. I am Joshua Peters. Be sure to stay up to date with us all week on our Facebook page and theonlinerocket.com. Stay healthy and stay safe as we journey through the quarantine together.